Good morning everybody and welcome. I am Mel Soul from the Mel Soul Golf School and we are located at Paulie's Plantation Golf and Country Club. We also have locations at Sea Trail Resort in Sunset Beach, North Carolina and Holiday Valley Resort in Ellicottville, New York, which is about an hour south of Buffalo in upstate New York. So for those of you that live in that area, I teach in New York the last week of June and the first week of July. So put it down on your calendars now if you're interested uh, because I will definitely be there. Today we're going to talk about a malady that a lot, more than 50% of my students have this issue, which we call over the top. And over the top means that the downswing, the backswing goes here, the downswing is over the top of the backswing. If I come down the same plane, then I'm on pl what we call on plane. But if I come out here, very common, then you're going to go across, you can see the club's going to go left across the ball. And depending on where the club face angle is, you're either going to hook it or slice it. If the club face is slightly closed, you're going to hook it. If the club face is slightly open, you're going to slice it. But the club head path is from outside to in. So a simple thing like a water bottle placed just on the outside of the ball right here will give you the feeling that when you come down, you have to come down and miss that water bottle. Now, you can see here I've given myself quite a, a large margin of error. And so for me, that's not really necessary because I don't come over the top. But for those of you that have an over the top move, even the water bottle there, you're going to be surprised how many times you whack it. And so the water bottle is not going to do any damage to your club and it won't ricochet off and hit you on the shin and hurt you. So this is a pretty safe thing. And so start off, as I've said it 20 million times, slowly. The slower you do it, the quicker your body learns. So just do little slow swings and see if you can miss that. Now, as you get better at it, start putting it closer and closer. So now I've got it at its max. So now the only way, if I hit this shot, I know for sure that my club head path, and I can see also by my divot, but I know that my club head path was from the inside to out because I didn't come anywhere near the bottle. Very simple little thing but very, very effective. If you keep hitting the bottle, understand that the anti-over-the-top move, once you get to the, is the hip bump. When you move the hips that way, the club drops down and shallows out. So if I get back here and I move, the club will automatically drop down and shallow out. If I let this hip turn, then obviously this hip is attached to this shoulder. This shoulder is going to go out this shoulder is going to come out, you're going to come over the top. So when you're working on this, feel like you're starting the downswing with that little forward bump first, which moves the weight from the back foot to the front foot, and then swing through. You're over the top and your slices will be gone forever. Thanks for watching.